Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another French vintage perfume review. Um, I'm so happy and today this one is a little bit uh, special because someone asked me uh, to do a review about men um, vintage perfume and uh, this person wanted to know what I'm thinking about uh, men uh, French vintage perfume and I think it's a good idea because I used to wear uh, for years and I still, I'm still wearing actually uh, unisex and uh, men perfume some men perfume are still my favorite uh, perfume they are unisex, uh, they have also some, you know, some feminine touch or whatever, they're unisex so I can uh, wear them and it's not like, you know, it's not shocking and I got a lot of compliments actually. Um, my most, like, my most complimented fragrance or vintage perfume are actually unisex or they are for men. So I think it's a very, very great idea because it's also like, most of the time, uh, vintage perfume or men vintage perfume or unisex uh, perfume are es especially, yeah, they're super, super classy. They're super chic, super elegant. Um, they can be wear by, by, you know, because they're unisex, they can be wear by different type of people, different gender. And I love to uh, use things from the men vestiaire or the men you know the men uh, things i love to use clothes use perfume transform it wear it um i love it so it's a very good idea and i uh, spend a little bit of time on ebay finding this uh, perfume because some of them are rare some of them are very very rare um, so the men are not easy to find. You can find on eBay. Um, I will tell you where to find. Some of them are super, super classy, super iconic. They are like super Parisian, meaning like every man, I'm not gonna say every man, of course, but a lot of gentlemen in Paris, a lot of men in Paris, they know this perfume and they wear this perfume and you will find this perfume in their bathroom actually. I have a lot of personal story about this perfume that I'm gonna share with you. A lot of emotion, a lot of personal, you know, personal connection with all this perfume. So I'm so glad to start uh, this video today. Uh, let's let's start together. So the first perfume I'm gonna talk about um, is a very very iconic. Uh, iconic perfume, a very classy perfume, uh, very old actually and um, yeah it's a very classy perfume in Paris. The brand is also um, most uh, I mean the iconic brand about perfume you have to know this brand if you are a perfume uh, lover. I'm gonna talk more about this brand uh, before uh, you know jumping to the perfume because it's such an iconic brand. Um, if you love perfume, if you love vintage perfume, you have to know uh, this brand for sure. It's the best brand in the world when it comes to perfume. They are French and uh, they've been in business for like two centuries now. Uh, if I don't say, yeah, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Um, it's one of the oldest, uh, I mean, French, perfume brand in the market actually, one of the oldest um, one. So you have to know uh, the brand and yeah, this perfume is super, super iconic. I don't know uh, one um, gentleman in Paris who don't have this perfume in his, his bottle, I mean this bottle in his bathroom. And I'm gonna talk more about the perfume and how I came to this perfume and my personal connection with this one. But this perfume is Pour un homme by Caron. Okay, pour un homme uh, by Caron. Uh, if I translate in English, it means uh, for a man uh, by Caron. It's eau de toilette. It's a very, very good one. Very classy, very iconic. But I want to talk more about uh, the brand because the brand is like Caron. Um, Caron was uh, a French uh, perfume brand uh, that have been created in um, 
1904, uh, so 1904, so at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, so been in business for a long time. It's, it is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, uh, French uh, perfume brand in the market. They do only perfume. That's why it is so, so iconic, so special about Caron. They only do perfume. They're still in business, okay? They have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boutique uh, in Paris. Um, it's next to Matignon, uh, Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. If you know a little bit Paris, you go Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. You go all the way to, you know, the crazy luxury shop. And um, it's, it's really at the end, next to the Matignon, where the Prime Minister... Um, work and, and uh, is located it's called Matignon and you're gonna find this beautiful boutique Caron is a luxury brand in France everything is on made in in Paris in the atelier also uh, they also have atelier not in Paris but around um, everything is on made it's a luxury brand uh, when we talk about Caron they only do perfume they specialize in perfume uh, they also do some powder. The Caron powder is very famous because it was uh, it was like the powder from you know Hollywood actresses for a while. They used to purchase the Caron powder, who has a special um, special smell, and they, you know they create this powdery smell. You know Caron smell it's very powdery, very feminine. And every perfume in Caron is on made in France in the atelier, it took a lot of hours. And what's special about the boutique in Paris is um, when you buy a Caron perfume, you buy, you know, you buy history, you buy friends, you buy uh, a lot of savoir-faire, you buy a lot of luxury. Uh, but um, so usually Caron perfumes are expensive uh, because everything is made in France and the perfume is super super high quality. Caron perfume are here, they're really the top of the perfume actually. Uh, but um, when you buy a Caron perfume, usually you keep uh, the bottle because the bottle is engraved and it's made in France. So usually keep the bottle and you go to the boutique in Paris and you can refill because they have a perfume fountain made in crystal, in Baccarat, it's a beautiful boutique. You have to check this one if you go to Paris, absolutely. And you can refill um, with, your, with your bottle, you can refill your perfume in the fountain, so you just pay for the refill actually. And the fountain, the perfume fountain is handmade, it's in crystal. Most of the things in their boutique are in crystal, Baccarat crystal, they are like, it's like, basically this boutique for me is like a museum. Uh, because it's so old, it's so beautiful, they crystal everything, everything is like, you know, super precious. Um, so it's literally for me a museum, but it's so, so, so beautiful, you have to, you have to come to this boutique. I think it, or when I will be back in Paris, uh, it's the first thing I'm going to do. I think it's check to this boutique, talk to the people. Um, they are, you know, Caron is such an iconic luxury French uh, brand. And they made very iconic perfume. They really transform, I think, the French uh, perfume world. Uh, they create, um, with Chanel actually, they create the first perfume for women who were smoking in cigarettes in public. You have to know back then in the 20th century when smoking for women was, was very, very provocative. Uh, you know, you have the idea, the iconic idea of a Parisian who were smoking cigarettes because Parisians were the first woman to smoke cigarettes. They actually give, um, it was a trend back then, but you know, it was the Parisian style and it was super provocative, super like it was the provocative woman, the woman, the modern woman at that time. And Chanel and Caron, they create, but it's Caron first actually who do that and Chanel follow. But Caron create the first perfume for women who are smoking cigarettes because when we are smoking cigarettes, you didn't want this smell around you. You wanted to look chic, elegant, even you smoke cigarettes. 
and they create what the, the, the name of the perfume was called Tabablon, which I used to wear actually and I got a lot of compliments in America. Everybody was asking what I was wearing actually. I have a long story about it, but in another video. Uh, but it's called Tabablon, called meaning a white tobacco and this perfume is a liver smoky uh, with floral ingredients and it was made for women who were smoking cigarettes and this perfume really transform um, they made such iconic perfume really transform I think um, you know the trend and they really it's it's part of the history. Ta uh, Caron, if you are a perfume lover, perfume collectioner, you have to know them and um, they really transform uh, the perfume uh, history, the perfume um, scene uh, because they made such iconic perfume. Another iconic perfume was also Narcisse Noir, uh, which appears also in uh, this iconic Hollywood film uh, called Sunset Boulevard. And Caron was really the brand, uh, you know, Marilyn Monroe used to ship uh, air perfume from Paris or buy from them. All Greta Garbo, all the beautiful Hollywood actresses, they were wearing Chanel and also Caron perfume. They used to buy um, this perfume in, in Paris. And Caron, the founder, so the founder of the brand was Caron, uh, he emigrates, uh, not Caron, it's not his name, sorry, uh, but the founder of the brand, you know, he emigrates in America, so he had a lot of connection, American connection, and they all buying Caron perfume. Caron perfume was such an iconic and he's still in business because uh, they made such a beautiful perfume with the highest ingredients, the bottle are beautiful bottle you can uh, if you have the money you can purchase you know special bottle made in crystal if you are a perfume lover Caron is is really vibrant to know and to buy and uh, yeah this perfume is an iconic one for men for sure and um, how I came to this perfume is very interesting because um, I had, a, yeah, I was a boyfriend actually, um, a lover. I was young at that time. I was 22, 23. And um, when I met him, I met him and we, you know, we, we okay, we, we, <laughs> we love each other. We spend time together. And the first time I went to his bathroom, I saw this beautiful bottle, you know, next to the, next to, in the bathroom. Um, I saw this bottle like it was the first thing I saw in his bathroom it was this big bottle uh, I was washing my hand I saw this bottle and instantly I was so curious to smell because it smelled very very good um, it's something you know it's something I, I remember for people I you know my boyfriend or the people I know it's the smell it's something that really like you, I can get attached to a perfume, to a person just because of this perfume actually. I can really get attached because of that. And um, yeah, instantly, you know, I didn't ask anything. I, ca I took the bottle and I smelled and I was like, mm, it smelled divine. And I knew he was wearing Caron. And this, uh, this uh, my boyfriend at that time, so it was like nine years ago, a night eight years ago, uh, it was a very, very classy, um, very chic, classy uh, guy, very chic, uh, very Parisian. And uh, it's a very iconic, iconic perfume. It has been created in 1934. So you see it's a 30s perfume. So you can tell how long this perfume, I mean, how old, how old this perfume is actually. It's a very, very old perfume. Um, it's, it's an iconic, it's an iconic, I don't know uh, one man in Paris who don't know Caron, this, especially this one. Uh, it's an affordable, it's, it's the affordable side of Caron, this one, it's a very good, good, you know, um, if you compare quality price, this one is very, very good. It's, I think it's a safe choice if you want to um, also buy a perfume for your boyfriend, your husband or your father, whoever. It's really a good, good, good choice uh, because it's such an iconic perfume, good quality. Caron is like such an iconic, uh, iconic brand. You can't go wrong. It's like Chanel, okay? You can't go wrong. Usually, it's 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 like that. 
Um, so let's try this perfume. Uh, let's try this perfume. So since I, I discovered this perfume, I'm, I used to uh, wear also this one. So when I, um, I discovered this perfume through my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, sorry, um, I, yeah, I, you know, I went home and soon after I decided to purchase uh, this, this perfume. Usually it's happening like that. I met someone okay i met someone uh i discovered the perfume he, he wore <laughs> and if i um fell in love or if i like love the perfume and usually it's when i fell in love i also fell in love with the perfume i usually you know buy for myself it's happening a lot a lot a lot a lot actually a lot um when i fell in love with the perfume I buy the perfume for myself, even if it's a men perfume or unisex perfume. Um, it's, it also happened for uh, Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. I think it's probably the last uh, perfume I both I discovered on my, uh, my boyfriend. Um, it was also seven, six years ago. I discovered on my boyfriend. I loved this perfume. I asked him what he was wearing. I love the perfume and I both the perfume like i think two weeks after i was already like looking for noir de noir by tom ford which i love this perfume um so it happened when i fell in love like that and i love the perfume i both and it's unisex usually i wear it um so let's back to this perfume let's back to this perfume uh so this perfume i like to wear it during summer during uh summertime because it's a very light I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's like, it's long lasting, very powerful sillage, all the Caron perfume are very good quality perfume. They are super long lasting, they're like very, very good sillage, very good ingredients. Um, they're not loud. When I say light, it's like that. They're not loud. They're super elegant, classy perfume, okay? When someone is wearing Caron, you know it's Caron. You know it's Caron, you know that. Um, even for women, you know, the, the, the perfume I mentioned to you, Tobacco Blonde, uh, tobacco, yeah, white tobacco, tab Taba Blonde. It was a very, very strong perfume, long sillage, but it's not loud because it's so chic and so elegant. Um, so I can tell, you know, by the first sheet, I can, I can already smell, the first notes are like, you know, that's why I love this perfume, the first notes remind me of South of France. When I smell this one, I smell a very good, you know, I, I remind me of a lavender, of a lavender in South of France. You know, the cigal, the lavender, a little, um, a little street in a small village in South of France. It's, it reminds me of Provence, um, really a long summer in Provence. Um, I picture, you know, you wearing a white linen shirt and you're wearing this perfume. It's how I, I depact. And this perfume, you know, sometimes people go to breakfast on, or brunch and, and they are wearing very loud perfume. I think it's a mistake. Um, if you want to wear perfume, especially during the morning, you get invited, you have a brunch, a breakfast, okay? Um, you want, you, of course, you want to wear a perfume, especially during the summer. Summer is coming. Please don't, spray a very loud perfume i think it's uh, you know it's not it's not elegant and this one is perfect i think you have to go for all the toilettes especially during the morning uh, breakfast brunch um you get invited it's summer please don't spray out or like super very loud perfume it's not elegant at all uh use all the toilettes and this one is a perfect i think it's really it's what i you okay when i smell this perfume it's what i picture i picture a brunch okay elegant brunch or also casual one but in french style in south of france in a provence mass or provence house with you know the beautiful lavender in the back and you have a very beautiful brunch in france uh, the, you know, with the Provençal style, uh, your coffee, the ricoré, the eggs, and you are in South of France. And someone is coming with a white linen shirt, white linen, and you put this perfume. 
it's it's what comes to me like that okay it's like that i saw that um it's a perfect wine on linen i don't know it's so fresh so elegant so clean it's a perfect white for uh, one for like a french summer or like the summer in your shirt in your linen shirt cotton shirt perfect 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 um very good perfume for that so the first notes are very fresh and the lavender is super present that's why i'm thinking of south of france when i uh, smell this perfume because lavender come first and they are super present the lavender is present in the top the middle and also in the base it's still like a long uh, lavender sillage and that's why i love this perfume because i also love uh, lavender i smell the vanille the musk uh it is a very powdery so caron the scenic the signature smell in caron if you buy yeah um you know the powder the caron powder in the little uh, box if you buy any perfume from caron they have a signature smell and it's a very powdery smell they kept it secret so i don't know um i don't give i can't give you you know some kind of notes of fragrance for this smell we call it the caron powdery smell it's a caron smell they kept it sec secret so i can't tell you the notes but it's very powdery and this smell is present in every like caron product or caron um fragrance and it's a very powdery smell very feminine but at the same time unisex it's feminine but also you know it's not shocking for a man it's very refined very elegant it's super french it's a very very french powdery floral smell um and it's the signature of uh, of caron perfume so that's why there is this powdery smell very present in the base note actually and there's a little bit of sweetness and spices probably in the middle not um, you know the musk give some intensity to that uh, let me respray because it's such a good perfume and you know right now the, you know we are in the morning here and it's the perfect time for this perfume it's a very day morning perfume for like a long very hot warm summer um, like i said if someone is wearing this perfume for brunch or breakfast you don't know if you you know you know you don't know what to eat you know the perfume or the brunch no no seriously it smells very very good and the lavender for me it's such a beautiful perfume because of the lavender the lavender is amazing in this perfume with this caron powdery smell oh la 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 this perfume is a really good one uh, let me tell you that it's a very very good perfume and uh, like i said perfect for like breakfast brunch summer perfect perfume i, I already you know i picture the scene i only already give you uh, when to wear this perfume and in you if you got invited in south of france take this perfume with you it's a it's a perfect one actually and it's a very very parisian one i uh, like i said every gentleman in paris uh, they have one bottle at least in the bathroom um, I don't think they wear this perfume like all the time because I think men in Paris they like to switch to different kind of fragrance like women uh, we like to associate a perfume for um, a typical you know for not you know for an atmosphere for a time for a particular event um, you have your you know your all the time perfume for sure but this perfume is in the french bathroom for sure paris paris um, bathroom it's how i discover this perfume you know it's someone uh, you know when i moved to paris and i i had a boyfriend who was wearing this one so caron pour uh, pour l'homme de caron very very beautiful perfume Okay, so now we're gonna move to a very, very um, special perfume, very, very special for me. Um, one, I think it's my top, in my top five, um, I think I'm gonna do um, a video about my top five or my top ten um, perfume. Uh, someone asked for it actually in the comments and I think it's a good idea. Uh, but it's for sure this one is in my top five um for sure 
for sure because I love this perfume and you're gonna see that when I'm going to spray this perfume I'm gonna go crazy I'm gonna go crazy I just want to warn you um, because this perfume makes me like I don't know there's something in the smell in the composition and also the history because this one has a very good history actually it's a very iconic Uh, perfume, all the perfume I'm showing you today, they are iconic, they are very iconic, they are classy, they are French vintage, uh, they are iconic, meaning that I don't know one French, um, you know, someone with has taste and classy, I don't know one who do not know this perfume, I don't know, it's impossible, it's such in the, you know, in the French history, French scene, very Parisian, um, it's such an iconic perfume that all the perfume I'm showing you, They are like, they are very, very iconic. And this one is very, very particular. The smell is amazing. The smell is not amazing. The smell is divine. It's divine. Uh, I go crazy for this one. And I had a phase at that point that I used to wear this one for myself. I used to wear this perfume for me. Um, and it was my... Um, It was my spring, winter, uh, not summer, but spring, winter smell for sure. And uh, like for, for years, I used to wear this one also at work. I remember very well. And I was young. When I discovered this perfume, I was 22, 21. So I was super, super young. And I used to wear this perfume um, a lot. Um, so this perfume is Abbey Rouge by... Guerlain, okay, Abbey Rouge by Guerlain, if I translate in English, it's called Red Clothes, so just by the name, you can tell, I mean, just by the name and the look, because, you know, the red cap, the red later, you can tell that this is a, an oriental, um, warm oriental, but it's not like a classic oriental for men, because it's not loud, there's no oud at all, no out at all, it's a very powdery, um, French powdery smell and very Guerlain because it's also one of the signature of, of Guerlain, it's the smell if you buy makeup from uh, Guerlain, uh, if you know Guerlain of course you're gonna buy the terracotta or things like that, you're gonna smell this very powdery perfume, it's also the signature of, of Guerlain And this one is very special and that's why I used to wear this one. It's a main perfume but because there's flower and there's rose, rose in this one and I go crazy for this perfume and that's why I used to wear this one. Uh, I used to wear this one um, for a while until I switched to other things but um, it's my top five and I think I'm gonna wear this one again for sure. Uh, when I will back to be back to Paris, I'm gonna bring uh, this bottle because I go crazy for this perfume, um, and um, it's like that. So I I got the eau de parfum, and I strongly suggest you to buy the eau de parfum because the eau de parfum is more long lasting. The sillage is stronger, and uh, eau de toilette is a little bit different. And I like to go for eau de parfum for this one because it smells. Divine, it smell not divine, it smell out of the world. This perfume smell out of the world. It's like another smell from another galaxy. Um, and it's so elegant. I think for me it's one of the most um, men, most elegant men perfume I ever smell. Um, yeah, and I smell a lot of men perfume also. Uh, no, this one is like, I strongly suggest you to, to try this one uh, to just to smell it, um, you know, but because this is an iconic perfume and this one is super, super, super good. I go crazy for this one. So, um, so Jean-Paul Guerlain, the brand, so if you don't know Guerlain, but I'm pretty sure you know Guerlain, uh, if you go to Sephora, um, you know Guerlain um, is a makeup, a makeup beauty uh, brand in France, uh, founded by Jean-Paul Guerlain, he passed away a few years ago, um, he was a very, very strong uh, personality, um, very, very strong man, um, And uh, yeah, I love the makeup collection, the beauty collection. Uh, the terracotta is very old also. It was created in, a, in a, yeah, maybe 40, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. It's still like the, also a bestseller of a brand. 
And they make very beautiful perfume. I, if you go to Paris, I recommend you also to go to the uh, Champs Elysees boutique. In Champs Elysees, they have a very, very big, big, big um, boutique. And um, in this boutique, you're gonna find all the best, you know, uh, all the uh, Guerlain uh, products, uh, they carry everything. It's there's different, uh, you know, um, different levels. Uh, the perfume are on the top, I, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna discover the, all the perfume, all the makeup. Uh, they also have Fontaine, uh, Fontaine perfume also. Their uh, boutique in Champs Elysees are, is just beautiful and it's an iconic place, an iconic boutique. So if you're also a lover, like you know, Guerlain lover or uh, French uh, perfume lover, go to this boutique and people will be also happy to, to, to tell you more about uh, the perfume. When you buy perfume, uh, and, I know, and I know that by experience, it's always good to find someone, you know, who can explain, um, you know, who can explain you about, uh, so the notes, it's something, you know, the notes, the fragrance, etc. But can describe also the history of the perfume, uh, what's behind it, um, how to wear it, um, the emotion between the perfume, because it's going to help you also, you know, to choose your perfume uh, according to your personality. But there are perfumes also for some type of event, some atmosphere. There are perfumes you can wear for a wedding, there are perfumes you can wear for a date, but you can't wear this perfume uh, for work, or there are perfumes you can wear uh, when you have a brunch or you eat, but there are perfumes you can't wear when you're eating because it's super loud and it's mixing with the food. And you know, it's, you know, perfume, it's an art. It's an art and it requires, you know, a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. And, uh, you know, if you go to this type of boutique, there are people who knows, uh, there are people who knows for sure. And it's always good also to have this, uh, you know, to meet uh, people like that who knows, you know, who knows things about, about perfume. Uh, anyway, so this perfume has been created in 19... 65 so it's a 60s perfume and uh, for me this perfume is very elegant but is a very for me for me in my opinion it's a sexy perfume it's a very sexy perfume but in a very good elegant way uh, why why because 60s in france they were the most erotic uh, the most erotic um, years in france when you think about 60, you think about uh, ja uh, Jeanne Birkin, Serge Gainsbourg, you know, 68, 69, I know erotic, there's a song in French, actually, we said 69, ero erotic year, 69, I know erotic. Um, it's a very erotic uh, period, I think. And this perfume is uh, the good example of um, of that it's for me the smell uh, it's so so first it's so elegant so you know so chic it's very a chic perfume for me if I I picture what I picture for this perfume is chic uh, but I'm gonna tell you more about what I picture uh, but also you know it's red you know red is a very seductive color very sexy very seductive okay it's very powerful red is very powerful the color it means a lot so it's a perfect um, it's also a perfect perfume for a date, for sure. I used to wear this perfume also at work. So I didn't find it too loud or too shocking. But uh, I picture for this perfume, it's a very, you know, very uh, good quality uh, shirt, poplin, cotton shirt. Uh, someone was also uh, wearing a nice suit, nice smoking. Uh, for a woman, I picture a nice, uh, you know, nice smoking, nice tire. Um, you know, a very seductive woman. It's a very good perfume. What I picture, it's that. And um, I go crazy for this perfume. So let's let's smell because well, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Um, a lot of things are going to happen. Oh, <laughs> oh la la. Oh my gosh. Oh mon dieu, mon dieu, mon dieu, mon dieu, mon dieu. I can't tell you how it's 
smell, but you can hear it. But it smell. Oh my god. And now my, you know, my place, my apartment, now it's smelling like Abbey Rouge. And everything else already changed in the room. It's crazy. So let me tell you that uh, when a man, someone or a woman is wearing this one, I go crazy. I know someone is wearing this one. And I don't know, there's something in my brain or in my nose and I'm, you know, something is happening with this perfume. And I can smell this perfume in the street miles away. I know someone is wearing Abbey Rouge because it's such a distinctive smell and it's such a smell, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. So uh, the top knots are very uh, fresh. The top knots are a blend of citrus, grapefruit, orange, bergamot, and I smell the basil. And a basil in a perfume, it's also very, very distinctive. Um, very distinctive. And very few perfumes include basil. But when they include basil in the perfume, you uh, can tell. And, you, and already the smell is very unique, very distinctive. The middle knot. So now the middle knot are super, super special. And that's why I think women can wear this perfume easily. There's no problem to wear this perfume at all because of the middle knot. Uh, the middle knot are a blend of rose. So the rose is very, very present. And this rose is not a Turkish rose. Um, it's more a grass rose. Very classy French rose, um, which makes this, this perfume super attractive for me. Um, I smell the sandalwood, so the sandalwood is very present in the middle knot. I can smell it. The patchouli and, of course, the jasmine. So that's why this perfume for me is like super, super interesting, super special, like and also unisex, because in the middle knot you're gonna find a blend of floral notes, rose and jasmine. And it's rare for many perfume. I mean, there are, of course, you're gonna flat flowers, but this type of notes in a French perfume is rare. The rose and the jasmine combine in a like in the middle note. It's not common. And um, and the base note, that's why I go crazy for this one. It's the powdery, the Jean-Paul Guerlain powdery smell, which remind me a little bit of Caron actually, but it's different for sure. But this, 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 this type of powdery smell in the base, I can't describe it to you because it's also, you know, a Jean-Paul Guerlain signature. Um, but it's powdery and it's blend with the rose and the jasmine. And um, the vanilla and the liver, because I also love uh, liver in, in men perfume and I used to wear a lot of liver perfume. I love liver. I love for women, for men, I love the liver smell. I love it. So there are everything uh, combined in this perfume that I love. I love basil, I love rose, I love jasmine and I go crazy for liver. So, you know, everything combined in this perfume, for me, it's my main perfume. This one is my main perfume. And um, the story, it's how I, I, how I came to this perfume. Let's, let's uh, you know, and this perfume has a very long, long lasting, long sillage. I don't know to, I don't need to spray more. I'm, I'm doing that because I'm, you know, I'm gourmand. I'm very good. I paid it for, 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 for perfume, especially very super, super good like this one. Uh, but um, the sillage is amazing, okay? The sillage is amazing. It's very long lasting. Um, and also a tip, if you want to, you know, uh, put, uh, you know, give more intensity to your perfume and very deep, long lasting sillage, very strong sillage, um, you have to spray uh, perfume in um, natural, natural fabrics, cotton, linen, silk, everything natural will keep your perfume uh, more, inten more intense and the sillage will be um, long lasting and, and, very st and stronger. Why? Because, you know, natural fabrics, first, they are more chic. They are chic, you know, I don't like synthetic. They are chic, but something in the natural fabrics really attract more the perfume and keep more, give more intensity to the perfume. And this one, because I used to wear this one, has a very strong uh, lasting if you wear on cotton. 
cotton and silk this one is like amazing amazing lasting like crazy lasting like something i did not see in other perfume actually Oh la 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 it's it's uh, it's it's divine it's really divine so how i i came to this perfume i did not met someone it's tr it's very weird i did not met someone yet who is wearing this perfume personally like i did not not a boyfriend or you know close relationship or my family um i it was Christmas a few years ago, so five, six years ago, uh, during Christmas time, I needed to buy something for my father, and I used to buy perfume um, uh, for my family. And um, I was at the, uh, at the Guerlain in Galerie Lafayette. I was at the corner, uh, Guerlain corner at Galerie Lafayette. Um, I used to buy... I used to buy um, lipstick for myself. I used to love wearing a red lipstick from Guerlain. They are also a very good red lipstick called Wine something. Wine, uh, and it was a very uh, chic red, very wine, very like crazy red wine. Okay, crazy lipstick at that time. I was at the corner and I was like, okay, let's try the Guerlain perfume. I try the main perfume and when I spray this one, I fell in love instantly with the smell I felt like and I decided to buy this one for my father my father it's not his style uh, I understand the style of my father my father perfume is Azaro and Ceruti he used to switch between the two uh, which are very very good perfume also but my father loves you know more fresh uh, fresh, you know, Ceruti and Azaro are very, very fresh, especially Azaro are very fresh, uh, ocean, fre you know, this kind of ocean French citrus uh, perfume, super fresh. Um, and I don't think my father is like really into powdery Parisian because this perfume is very Parisian for me, very powdery, you know, smell. It's probably a little bit too sophisticated for my father. So he did not, he used to love this one, but I don't think it was his perfume. But I was so in love with the smell, so I decided also to buy one bottle for me. And I, um, oh no, I know what happened, exactly. I have very good memory. So what happened is I decided to keep, keep the bottle for me. So I went back home, I keep uh, I kept the bottle for me and I decided to wear this perfume and I buy another perfume for my father I think I both like um, probably Azaro or Ceruti or I know the Cologne I think uh, no Aqua di Parma I bought for him an Aqua di Parma um, eau de Cologne the black one actually so it was like seven seven years ago happening but I still remember very well and um, it's what happened I kept the bottle I I started to wear this one and it was my uh, winter spring perfume I think it's a very winter perfume because this powdery smell but there are citrus and fresh notes for sure so it's not something I don't think it's shocking to wear this one during the summer uh, but I for example I will wear more during the summer uh, Caron okay Caron and keep this one for uh, the winter it's like that um, or even the spring um, but this is such a beautiful uh, smell. I, you know, I'm such, I'm addict. I'm addict. Oh la la. I'm going to start to wear this one uh, again. I, so, um, So let me let me uh, because I kept the I kept the box. So in in English, a tribute to Gerland's patient for horse riding. Abbey Rouge was was the first Oriental fragrance for men. So this is true. This is like I don't think it's the first um, per se because probably Caron. I don't I don't think Caron do Oriental. It's not really the signature. But anyway. Uh, a timeless expression of contrast and well mastered emotion. Um, yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think it's very well said. Uh, but uh, it's a masterpiece for me. This uh, perfume is an oriental masterpiece. 
oriental masterpiece and um, because it's such a well blended such a chic perfume oriental chic it's the most um, chic it's the chicest oriental i ever know for men or for even for women so like i said i used to wear this one um, it's it's amazing this perfume is like if you have to smell one once in your life uh, to to really get it to really understand you have to you have to smell and try this one uh, once um once so very good perfume for a diner very good perfume also for a lunch uh br breakfast not really a picture like yeah a picture smoking suit also casual if you're wearing a leather jacket a bomber if you are casual if you're wearing a polo i picture different type of you know but even but this perfume suits very well for a date also i think this perfume is is because it's a very sexy elegant perfume also you know it's red it's for a date also a lunch if you go for lunch or oh, very very good perfume very very good so it's difficult for me to switch to another perfume after after Abbey Rouge because Abbey Rouge is such a you know masterpiece for me and um, I, it's like that you know sometimes with perfume some perfume make you not crazy but you have such a, you know you love the smell is so like you have such a connection uh, and you get attached with the perfume and you love it so much so it's difficult but the perfume I'm gonna talk now I have a very um, you know very also strong connection it's also one of my best um, men perfume and unisex perfume it's more a men perfume but like I said I used to um, I like to use men perfume when they are not like the, when it's not shocking and when it's there's also a kind you know floral composition or unisex type notes i like to use it uh, it's like a, a woman with you who, who is wearing you know um her boyfriend shirt or like a man shirt or a man you know something oversized or like you know it was also the trend in some way to wearing like a very oversized um oversized jacket or smoking suit like that uh, it's still a trend I like it I think it's super elegant super chic super sexy this this type of things I like it so uh, this one is more a men perfume but a unisex perfume per se uh, but I used to wear this one also because I felt in love with the smell I, I just you know it's it happened I fell in love with the smell and I also um, bought this perfume for my ex fiance. Um, I'm going to talk more about how I, you know, how I came to this perfume, what happened with this perfume, because I also have a personal story with this perfume. And a lot of emotions are going to come up. A big, big story about this perfume. So uh, probably seven years ago, six, 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 six years ago. Um, see, like I said, six years ago. So this perfume is Jacques Faf pour l'homme. So if I translate also in English for men, for for a man, for the men, for the men, for the men. Um, but um, so it's a very niche perfume, very very niche perfume. Abbey Rouge and uh, pour l'homme by Caron. You're gonna be, uh, you will be. You can find them easily, eBay, whatever, um, whatever you, you can ship, um, easily to find. This one is more difficult, is more a niche uh, perfume, more a niche perfume. I found this one on eBay and unfortunately when I uh, bought this one, the cap was, uh, was already missing. Um, and let me talk more about first the brand because you probably don't know um, the, the brand Jack Faf. So Jacques Faf is a very, very old uh, French brand, very old French brand. It was a haute couture, haute couture fashion uh, brand um, created by the owner Jacques Faf. A very, very old because it has been created in 1912. Okay, 1912. So beginning of the 20th century, very, very old brand, very powerful haute couture brand. Um, so it's not in business anymore. Uh, 
uh, they just kept the perfume but at that time it was super powerful it was a very powerful parisian fashion brand with all the wealthy clientele all the hollywood actresses who used to wear jacques faf you might find some vintage pieces in some very niche uh, very very niche um, you know particular website or you know uh, vintage retailer you might but Probably it's in some museum in somewhere in Paris actually. And Jacques Favre was so powerful that he trained a lot of French uh, French designer, French creator, like Givenchy. Givenchy was trained, has been trained by Jacques Favre. He was his apprentice actually. Um, he trained Valentino. Valentino used to uh, used to also has been trained by Jacques Favre. He used to also train uh, Guy Laroche. So Guy Laroche, um, unfortunately, is not, uh, you know, he died, uh, he died, but he used to train this, um, this um, French uh, designer, uh, creator, not designer, creator, sorry. Uh, and Jacques Favre really created, you know, he was really the father of the chic Parisian style. He created the chic Parisian style. It's the father. Very few people know Jack Faf. Um, only if you are Parisian and if you are like me, you know French Parisian, and you know, you know, I know a lot because I'm a, I'm passionate about vintage and my country and and everything about Paris, etc. Uh, but very, very few people know that, and even the average French, uh, they don't know Jack Faf. I know Jack Faf because I'm I'm passionate on to vintage and. Um, I read a lot about it, but he was the father of the Parisian style, of the chic. He used also to integrate, for example, the beret. The beret was, uh, you know, something that Chanel uh, put in her collection um, at the beginning of the century, but Jacques Fab was the first to really uh, make it trendy. You know, the beret, the woman, the Parisian with the beret, it was also something that Jacques Fab, um, you know, created and launched. Um, so, he also launched a perfume collection, so unfortunately when Jacques Favre died in the 80s or something like that, they closed the fashion house because he used to do only haute couture, not uh, mass, uh, mass market clothes or fast fashion, only haute couture. They closed the fashion house but they kept uh, the uh, perfume because the perfumes are very iconic, they are very very good perfumes, they also been wear by, by you know, pre, uh, very wealthy people at that time, CEO, there's also um, president who used to wear this uh, type of perfume. So it's a very iconic, uh, iconic French uh, Parisian brand um, and I love, um, I love, uh, I love that. So, um, let's let's uh, smell this one so how i come to this perfume um so no surprise i discovered this perfume in jacqueline perfumery in san francisco um seven years ago six years ago um i used to fly to san francisco uh, with my ex fiance and uh, we used to fly uh, together and um we used to stop and uh, when you know during the day, most of the time, I used to go to Jacqueline Perfumery every time I went to San Francisco and uh, to stop uh, to, to see André and ask him for perfume. And um, I was looking for someone, something for my ex fiance and uh, André told me, yeah, I have something for you. You're gonna love it. It's very old, very vintage, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. It smells super good. And it was also one of his favorite, um, favorite perfume. And André, uh, I smelled this perfume and I, I was like, my God, it smells super good. And he was very proud of himself. He has like this big smile. Uh, every time, you know, someone was loving what he was suggesting, he had this big smile on his face. And he was super proud, like, okay, we found something. And I just uh, decided to buy for uh, my ex fiance And I also bought a bottle for myself because I used to also wear so much this perfume. So when my fiance was, uh, yeah, where we were away from each other and uh, I, I missed him, 
I used to spray this perfume on my clothes and just smell it and I, I, I was, uh, you know, it was something that I used to do. I love it. Um, like I said, when you fell in love with someone, usually you also fell in love with the, the perfume and I like to remember per people from the perfume. It's something I really like it. Uh, so this, smelling this perfume will make me come back six years ago, San Francisco, uh, you know, um, Jacqueline Perfumery, it was a nice time, huh? very nice time, but you know, it's like that, things are moving, they change, it's life. So, um, this perfume has been created in 1988, so this is the 80s perfume, and that's why also I love uh, this perfume, because you know how much I love 80s perfume. If you follow me, if you watch my videos, uh, you know how much I love 80s perfume uh, because I love the 80s. I'm a very, very big fan of the 80s and 90s, actually. I love everything about this time. I love art, I love fashion. I loved, uh, you know, the model at that time, like Cindy Crawford, Claudia Schiffer. Um, they were super beautiful. They had a strong personalities. Um, you know, Chanel in the 80s and 90s was super, like, Chanel at that time uh, was super interesting because it was so chic and sexy at the same time. I love also the powerful dressing, the strong powerful dressing for women. And I love art. I love everything about the 80s and the 90s. I think it was the best time ever. And uh, this perfume is so, like, when I smell this perfume, I really smell also the 80s in some way for men. Um, for men it was a little bit different, I think, but the style was very chic also. It was also something very interesting for men and I really smell this powdery 80s, um, very chic, very elegant. Um, it's a very 80s smell but very, very vintage. There's a very vintage smell and it smells so, so good, I swear. Um, Oh la la, it smells very, very elegant, very elegant, it smells super good, I love this perfume. So the top notes are fresh, but they are kind of blend and uh, floral and fresh notes. I can smell the mint, I smell the lavender, so there is a lavender. So like you can expect, I love lavender in perfume for men, I think it's very, um, it's very chic. The lavender is less strong, less present than the one in Caron. Actually, Caron, it's, uh, you know, the lavender is super present in the Caron perfume I show you. This one is more subtle. It's more subtle. It's more like, it's here, but it's light. Okay, it's here, but it's light. I smell, yeah, this kind of blend of cedar, mint, citrus, grapefruit, and a little bit of lavender in the top knot. But the middle knot are super interesting in this perfume and make this perfume very, very unique. It's the combination of raspberry, so you don't see raspberry in a lot of men, of men perfume, okay? It's maybe in some Tom Ford perfume, but it's very, very unique. I smell also the lavender, the spices, there's a blend of different flowers. I don't smell a different kind of flowers. There are rose. Rose is present in this perfume. That's why also I love this perfume and I used to wear this perfume because there are rose and rose is also one of my favorite flower and especially in perfume. And I smell the violet. And that's why this perfume is so addictive and so unique and I love this smell. It's the violet. The violet is very present in this perfume. And uh, violet in men perfume is also very rare. You know, this combination of raspberry, cedar, and violet. It's a very well blended oriental. For me, this perfume is a woody oriental. Mod in the wood side because the base, in the base, you're gonna smell the woody notes. A little bit of um, liver, so I smell the amber, the woody note, the patchouli. I smell a, this, some liver is present. I like the liver back, you know, gives a more intensity in this perfume actually. I smell the musk, the vanilla. Um, yeah, it's for me, it's an, you know, Fragantica sets an amber woody. I, I think the amber is present for sure. Yeah, it's an amber floral. Amber floral woody uh, oriental, this, this some oriental side actually. Mm. Oh la la. 
amazing perfume. It's the eau de toilette, but the sillage is here. It's very long lasting. Uh, you smell it. I swear, uh, I wish you could smell right now what I'm smelling, but it's really in the room. It's, it's intense. It's a very intense perfume also. Um, so this perfume was my um, winter perfume. I wouldn't wear this perfume um, summer, quoique maybe summer, you know, for maybe um, maybe a diner, a late lunch. This one is a good one. Uh, it's definitely a, pe a perfume for a very classy gentleman. I picture um, maybe someone in New York will also love this one. It's a if you are very classy, very chic, you're gonna love this one. It's also a perfume for a confident man, someone who is here, who have also, uh, you know, responsibilities in his life, a family, or very, you know, um, very, uh, you know, single man with a lot of responsibilities, a very, you know, good position also, you know, someone is in place, huh? and he has taste, um, this perfume smells divine. Um, and yeah, what a picture with this one. Yeah, it's some you can wear this one for work for sure. It's a very also good date perfume. Maybe Abbey Rouge, it's more for a date compared to this one, but this one definitely is such a I swear if you if you smell this one for a date, uh, she's gonna she's gonna remember you for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, and I used to wear this one, yeah, uh, for winter. I remember I used to put this one um during uh, the winter in Paris. I was my winter also perfume, spring winter. Um, you know, spring in Paris, it's sometimes it's still, you know, snow, it's still cold. Um, but um, the smell is, is divine, I swear, I swear. And my ex fiance was, you know, someone with a lot of taste, very classy, very chic, also big responsibilities. So um, yeah, it's, it's really a, a, a perfume for a mature or someone who is in place and not mature but someone was like in his you know is in place in his life and um, he has experience also a lot of taste is a very very refined gentleman it's a very refined perfume very elegant Jacques Faf Jacques Faf Pollum the perfume I'm gonna talk about um, is a very niche niche perfume Super, super rare, um, super rare. Um, I have a bottle in Paris, actually. I have a bottle in my night cabinet in Paris. I have a very beautiful night cabinet where I put all my perfume uh, in Paris. And I have a bottle of this one in Paris in France. Um, so it's a very rare perfume. I used to buy this one in San Francisco from André. Okay, Jacqueline Perfumi. It's how I, I came to this perfume. I'm going to talk more about it because there's a whole story. Uh, and it's a very niche, unique perfume. I never smelled something like that in my life. Um, and now we're going to talk more about liver because I love liver perfume. I love liver for women and I also love liver for men. Live perfume are very strong, very, very strong perfume, very intense, for, also for women. Um, but they are so unique and intense that you have to really love it. It's live for me, it's either you love it or you hate it. There are people who just love it. Okay, usually it's people who like to horse riding, you know, it's a it's a special kind of people. But usually people who love horse, they love live perfume. Usually it's like that. Um, and you hate it and some people hate liver and some men or women they don't want to do anything for liver they think it's too strong too loud for them um, you have also to have the personality to wear liver you have to get a strong personality because liver are very intense okay very intense and for women it's also very a little bit masculine I'm gonna say give you like a little bit like of authority authority masculine power, whatever, it's a powerful smell. And um, so I'm gonna mention the perfume because I don't, I think you don't want to wait anymore. It's Kolnisch Jungen and the name of the perfume is Kolnisch Jungen by Regence Perfumerie. Um, 
I came to this perfume uh, because I love leather fragrance and I used to, so like I say, um, I came to this perfume because of um, Jacqueline Parfumery in San Francisco. And one day I came to André and I, uh, and I said to André, André listen to me, today I only want to smell leather perfume. I was in a phase probably, I have, you know, sometimes I'm into phase or obsession. And at that time, probably my obsession at that time was liver. And I said to him, I don't want to smell anything else. I want only to smell liver. Please bring me something um, very unique and something you used to, you know, your maybe your best seller or something you, you, you want. Yeah, bring me something unique. And he told me, wait, Alice. I have something for you. This is also something I don't show to anyone. And some people, they, they came to me only for this perfume. Uh, it was the only supplier, the only retailer in America, in the whole country to sell this perfume. Meaning that you either go to André and buy this perfume or you have to buy to this perfume in Paris in, or in Europe. So he was the only one to carry. He, has the, he had the exclusivity of this perfume. And he showed me, okay, this is the perfume I, most of the time, I, 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 I show to my uh, main clients. And it's a very, very unique liver, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. So I try, and I was like, my first reaction, I was like, oh my gosh, I never smell something like that. Uh, it was definitely something uh, unique, and it's so unique that you remember. I think the day you smell this perfume, you remember because the liver is so, so brut, so rough, so intense, so powerful. It's a very intense liver. I never smell uh, an, a, this liver in such intensity. Uh, to tell you how intense is it, like, you know, Tom Ford or even the liver from Tom Ford compared to this one, it's nothing. So just to tell you how intense is it. And this liver is so unique, so, um, you know, so blended in such a unique way that I was in shock. And um, so I was such in shock that I, I both at that time, I think, two, two or three bottles. Uh, and you can find this perfume uh, now, you can only find this perfume in Paris. It is a boutique in uh, Rue Rivoli, um, very high-end niche boutique. They uh, sell very rare perfume and you can only find Regence perfume in this boutique in Paris. So if you are looking, because I saw a lot of people online were asking how I can find this perfume, not a lot, but people who used to wear this one. Now they're desperate because Jacqueline perfume is closed, unfortunately. Um, they ask where I can find this perfume. You can find this perfume, Regence perfume, in Paris, in a boutique uh, Rue uh, Rivoli. I don't have the name in mind, but I know there's this boutique who, uh, which uh, sell unique, uh, very rare perfume, and I know they, sm they sell uh, Regence perfume. So, and Regence perfume are French, by the way, they're based in France. So you have, you have a lot of chance to, to find uh, this perfume. About the perfume by itself, this is a, such a mystery, a mystery, it's a mysterious uh, perfume because I was not able to find a lot of detail online and unfortunately at that time I didn't ask a lot of detail about this perfume to, to, to André and I don't think there's a lot because even André, I don't think he was able to tell me, you know, when he was lunch. He told me more about the house, so Regence Perfumery was French. But um, there's no detail about this perfume. So there is no detail about this perfume, which makes this perfume even more unique, even more like, I don't know. I was not able to find the date, but for sure it's a vintage one because the smell is like, for sure I can tell you it's a vintage perfume. And also because Regence Perfume Rich, a very old, old, old branch. Colniche uh, Jung, Young girl has been probably much more than 50 years ago. It's a very old um, French house brand. Um, so it's, it's, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's a very old one, but I was, so it's a very intense uh, liver, um, like I said, and even the notes, I wasn't able to find um, more information about the notes. So it's going to be my nose, my emotion, um, unfortunately. And let's, let's pray 
Let's pray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Um, this lather is very addictive. It's a very addictive lather for me. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's unique. This perfume is also um, unique. Uh, if someone is wearing this one, I know it's Konish uh, Jungdun. I know it's this one. I can't, you know, I can't mistake uh, this one for another one. I can't uh, be not sure. You know, some perfumes are so unique, so rare, so niche, or even so distinctive uh, that, uh, you know, it's this perfume. And, um, yeah. Mm. So, this perfume used to be my uh, winter uh, perfume. And when I... I used to wear this perfume... Uh, during the cold winter in Paris, you know, I picture, so I picture, I picture everything right now. Uh, I remember, you know, the cold winter in Paris with a lot of snow. Uh, I live in Rive Droite, so I like the Haussmann style, all the Haussmann building. And when you walk in Paris with this very big Haussmann um, building, there's snow everywhere. It's super cold. I have my little dog, you know, we like, it's super cold. We have big, big coats. And I remember to spray this liver. And this liver give me like, because liver is such intense and powerful for women also. Um, it, it give me, and it's like I got another second skin. I feel warm instantly by wearing this perfume on top of my coat. I feel like I was wearing another coat. Uh, because this liver, this, this liver is intense, so it's like, you know, it's like, um, for me, it's like pure liver and perfume. It's like I'm pressing a liver jacket, beautiful one, you know, beautiful Italian one. And this kind of, um, of um, orange, I can smell the orange is super present, actually. The orange in my musk. So it gives this perfume a very warm side, a very warm liver side, very intense. And yeah, I remember to like spray on top of, of my um, big, big winter jacket and I feel like I was enveloped. I was already enveloped uh, and I was, I was ready to, um, to go for this cold weather in Paris with a lot of snow. I was, you know, I felt like I was protected. I felt warm instantly. I feel warm. So this was my uh, winter perfume. I'm not wearing this one during summer or spring. It's a, such an intense liver. Uh, you, usually you don't wear liver um, during summer. Uh, I do that in Miami actually when, you know, because the air conditioner is so, you know, sometimes it's so cold. So I can, if I go to some... Uh, place and um, depending on the weather I sometimes I, I wear a leather jacket but just for the style but usually in summer you don't do that so um, it's really my wi my winter perfume and this is a main perfume by the way this this perfume is unisex but most of the time wearing by men but I feel so much enveloped and for men this perfume is very confident very seductive very also sexy liver for men are very sexy um very sexy smell for me they're super sexy super you know it's like out it's intense and it's very addictive so that's why i want to say it's an addictive smell um yeah and when i smell this one i remember my cold days in paris with my dog and my big winter jacket and i was ready to affront to go to go after this cold weather i was ready I couldn't leave my house, my apartment, without this perfume. There's something comforting in this perfume, like cocoon. Even liver is rough, you know, liver is super rough, like it's tough. Liver is a tough smell, it's powerful, intense. But in this one with the mask and the orange, it's rough, it's intense, and it's, you know, there's something like you got enveloped. For a woman, you got, you know, you feel a little bit more protected with this smell. It's weird, but it's 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 uh, it's what I picture when I smell it. Okay, so that was my main French uh, vintage perfume. I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Um, I was really happy to talk about this perfume because this perfume uh, I used to, you know, I used to wear this one, 
and uh, personally I had a lot of you know history with this perfume I got attached to them um, and a lot of emotion I, I come up with today so it's intense um, but I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel because they give me you know every time I saw new subscriber I'm like I'm so happy because I, I'm so passionate about what I'm doing actually don't forget to comment I also love your comments and see you know how we interact um, and I also like to discover new perfume um, you know I have a list actually I'm, I'm, I'm working on that this afternoon to make a, a new list so I can shop new new perfume new fragrance um, so I start to make a list but I love to see you know in your comments uh, perfume I don't know or this you know perfume you remember because of a mother or your emotion or an event particular um, so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment you can follow me also on instagram if you're passionate about french french lifestyle i, I like to post a lot of things about my french lifestyle here in america uh, for now and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I see you for another video. I wish you a very good, good day. And please, please don't forget to wear perfume. Uh, don't forget to wear perfume as soon as you leave the house or even sometimes I'm wearing also perfume inside. I don't, you know, perfume for me, it's my first, um, probably after, probably after my hair and my makeup, it's something I do and I never forget uh, to spray perfume even I sometimes I stay inside the house or I have things to do inside I'm cooking I love to 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 spray perfume for me it's it's so it's indispensable it's indispensable you know it's something I I have to so I wish you a pleasant day and I see you for another French vintage perfume video bye